This is the quickest way to make movements with collisions in GameMaker. Let's start by making a new project. So just select the blank template, give it a cool name and hit let's go. We are gonna need some sprites. So I'll drag this package file into GameMaker. You can get this from the description. Click on yes, then add all and finally import. This will give you some sprites and there are two that we're going to use. One for the player and one for the wall. Now in my game, I'm actually going to rotate these walls to make rotated walls. So if you want to do that too, make sure you set its collision type to rectangle with rotation. Now go ahead and make two objects. OBJ underscore player and OBJ underscore wall. Give OBJ player the player sprite and OBJ wall the wall sprite. Then let's open up the room that we have here and put in some walls. Then I'll add the player. I'm also gonna add a wall and rotate it while holding shift to get a perfect angle so that we have rotated walls to test. And with some more walls here and there, we are done making a quick test level and now we can go into OBJ player and start programming. So here add the create event and if you're asked to choose between GML visual and code, just go with whatever you want to use. This video will show you both. Just make sure you enable don't ask me again for this project before you hit OK. In this event, we're just gonna make one variable, which is my underscore speed. So this is how fast the player is gonna move. Now let's go ahead and add the step event where we can take input from the keyboard and move the player. So here we are first of all getting the input for each arrow key. So we are doing right, left, up and down. If you also want to use the WASD keys, you can write OR after each check and then add the checks for the WASD keys. Now after getting the arrow key inputs, we are doing right minus left here so that we get 1 if we are pressing right or minus 1 if we are pressing left and of course 0 if we are not pressing either. That value will be stored in a new local variable called X input. Then we are doing something similar for Y input which is down minus up. So we get 1 for down and minus 1 for up. These are the values that you would add to the X and Y position of the instance to move it in a particular direction. Finally, we are running the move and collide function, passing in the X input and Y input, but they are multiplied by my speed so that we move at the 4 pixels per frame that we set rather than just 1 pixel. We are telling it to avoid OBJ wall while moving and with that we should be all set. So run the game and use your arrow keys or WASD to move. Walls will stop you and you will slide along them if you move diagonally or if the wall itself is diagonal. There's a written version of this tutorial that covers a bit more so check it out from the description. We also have more videos just like this for you with more game maker tips and tricks. So check them out and I'll see you there. Thank <laughs> you.